Hi everyone, in this video you are going to learn about uh, some parts of the bistable multivibrator. Okay, this is the part 1 video of the bistable multivibrator because bistable multivibrator there are totally different types of multivibrators are there like fixed bias, self bias, collector coupled, emitter coupled. Okay, I will tell in detail one by one. Now, coming to this bistable multivibrator, I told you already in the previous video about the introduction of multivibrators and as well as the introduction of all these individual multivibrators. So, let me recall that bistable multivibrator is nothing but it is having, it is having, it is having two stable states, two stable states. So, it has two stable states. What else it has? As it is having two stable states, by stable, two stable states, it needs two triggering pulse. It needs two triggering inputs to change the states, to change the states. Triggering pulses are nothing but extra inputs that are coming from the uh, differentiator circuits. Okay, this is bistable multivibrator, little introduction. Now, Bistable multivibrators are again classified into two types. Bistable multivibrators are broadly classified into two types. First one, collector coupled, collector coupled, mul bistable multivibrator, collector coupled, bistable multivibrator and second one, emitter coupled, emitter coupled, bistable multivibrator. So, bistable multivibrators are mainly classified into two types which are broadly classified like uh, collector coupled and emitter coupled. If you see the names you can understand that is regarding construction. This particular point is regarding construction. If the collectors of two transistors are connect, coupled together, connected together, then that comes under bistable multivibrator classification like collector coupled and another one is emitter coupled. Both the emitters are connected together and giving it a supply like uh, minus VEE. Then it is emitter coupled bistable multivibrator. Here bistable multivibrator is also known as other names are binary. Bistable multivibrator is also known as binary or simply we can say it is a flip flop. It is a flip-flop. You might have studied flip-flop in STLE subject, switching theory and logic design. So, flip-flop is a device which is used to store one bit of memory element like a 0 or 1. At a time, one bit can be stored. That flip-flop internally, if you see, it is made up of a transistorizer model which is nothing but a bistable multivibrator. Okay. So, in flip-flop also, the output is fixed until you are giving external input signal. Okay, that is the reason why it is bistable multivibrator or flip flop. Okay, so uh, again, collector coupled, again, collector coupled bistable multivibrator is. Classified into two types. One is fixed bias, fixed bias by stable multivibrator, fixed bias by stable multivibrator, and second one self bias. Bistable 
மல்டி வைப்ரேட்டர் ஸோ ஃபிக்ஸ்டு பயாஸ் செல்ஃப் பயாஸ் வாட் யூ மீன் பை பயாஸ் பயாஸ் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் எக்ஸ்டர்னல் சப்ளை பயாஸ் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் எக்ஸ்டர்னல் சப்ளை ஸோ இன் ஃபிக்ஸ்டு பயாஸ் பைஸ்டேபிள் மல்டி வைப்ரேட்டர் வி ஆர் கிவிங் அண்ட் எக்ஸ்டர்னல் சப்ளை ஆஃப் மைனஸ் விபிபி டுவர்ட்ஸ் த பேஸ் ஆஃப் தி டிரான்சிஸ்டர் towards the base of transistor but whereas in the self bias bistable multi vibrator there is no such minus vbb potential across the uh, base of two transistors but the particular terminal base terminal is connected to the ground so itself it taking the uh, biasing nothing but voltage so in this particular video of uh, part 1 of this bistable multi vibrator i'm explaining about fixed bias by stable multi vibrator in this video so fixed bias by stable multi vibrator so fixed bias by stable multi vibrator is nothing but there is a constant supply of which is nothing but dc supply constant dc supply at the input of basis of two transistors okay that means how many biasing supplies it needs this circuit needs it needs two biasing supplies two biasing supply voltages what are they vcc comma vbb vcc is a conventional voltage which is applied the collector to bias the operating point to set the operating point and as well as vbb is the additional voltage we are giving towards the transistor's base that's why it is fixed bias by stable multi vibrator if you see the diagram of this bistable multi vibrator which is designed under fixed bias bistable multi vibrator see the circuit properly there are two transistors q1 and q2 q1 is having the three terminals like a base 1 collector 1 emitter 1 and similarly q2 is also having three terminals collector 2 base 2 and emitter 2 see see the construction emitters of both the transistors are grounded emitters of both the transistors are grounded that means it is having a potential of 0 volts here it is having a potential of 0 volts here okay now here what we have to understand is emitters are connected to ground emitters are connected to ground what about the collectors collector we are taking c2 and connected to base of the first transistor okay base 1 collector 2 these two are connected together and base 2 and c1 these two are connected together that means the output of this first transistor is again connected to the input of second transistor and the output of second transistor again connected to the input of this first transistor that means it, it is a self rotating loop okay self rotating loop and what is the fixed bias now fixed bias is nothing but we are giving a minus potential of minus vbb which is at the input of this base base 1 and as well as base 2 of these two transistors respectively okay however the r r2 resistors are for current limiting resistors okay similarly i2 is coming from the vcc towards this c2 and if this transistor is in off state then that current goes towards the base of the transistor p1 if this transistor is in on state that current directly goes towards the ground okay now fixed bias collector coupled this is the name of this one see first classification is collector coupled bias by stable multi vibrator and in collector coupled by stable multi vibrator the first one is fixed bias by stable multi vibrator fixed bias we have given this is fixed bias minus vbb okay and the vcc is another uh, biasing supply to set the q point now it is a classification of collector coupled by stable multi vibrator collectors are coupled or not see collectors are cross coupled here c1 is connected to base 2 and c2 is connected to base 1 this is cross coupled collector connection okay now assume a condition 
q1 is in on state and q2 is in off state i told you already these two configuration these two transistors are in um, complementary configuration if one transistor is in on state definitely the other is off suppose you may ask me why sir why they are not in the same status even though they are symmetrical to each other see if you close the second part if you see the first part again close the first part and see the second part both appears and looks the same that is nothing but symmetricity that is called symmetricity though the transistors are operated in symmetric environment but they are not at all considered to be in the same state because assume a condition like both i1 and i2 are equal listen carefully assume a condition i1 and i2 are equal whenever i1 and i2 are equal then transistors q1 and q2 are also in the same state that may be either on state or off state okay but even if you assume the condition i1 and i2 are in the same state after some time due to either temperature variations or due to the properties of the transistor a slight difference may be occurred among the currents okay suppose assume assume initially initially i1 and i2 are same okay so initially i am saying a condition i1 and i2 are same now assume assume a small increment in current i1 in current i1 see now i am taking a condition that i1 is increased very slightly compared to i2 okay as i1 increases what about the voltage appeared at the collector slightly decreases slightly decreases this decreased potential will be appeared at the input of the base 2 transistor base 2 of the transistor q2 as this voltage is coming down reduced then what about the transistor what about the current i2 i2 slowly increases because the transistor is slowly moving towards cutoff okay this small increment of i1 will reduce the vc1 see this is vc1 this is vc2 okay vc1 makes q2 move towards move towards cutoff okay so as it is moving towards cutoff then current slightly increases i2 still decreases sorry i2 still decreases as i2 still decreases again the collector voltage vc2 uh, increases that makes the transistor goes into more saturation region okay uh, what happens this in turn increases vc2 as i2 decreases okay because the transistor moving towards cutoff i2 decreases and vc2 increases so as vc2 increases what about the transistor q1 so q1 moves towards saturation region okay so initially both the transistors are in active region but as long as the current there is a small change in the current then what happens automatically there will be an imbalance occurs and so that one transistor completely goes towards saturation one transistor goes towards a cutoff so this process is repeated repeated and we will be having finally q1 is in on state and q2 is in off state so initially we have assumed one condition both are in active region but finally we ended at the situation like q1 is in on state and q2 is in off state <laughs> okay then at this point of time we are giving an external triggering pulse so where we need to give the external triggering pulse so what we have assumed q1 is in on state as it is in on state 
we should give some negative supply here that is nothing but at VC2 we are giving a negative going triggering pulse. Negative going triggering pulse means this one. Differentiator by cutting the positive peak. Okay, this type of negative going triggering pulse is given at the input of this VC2. That VC2 is directly connected to the input of the base 1 of the transistor Q1. Then that makes the transistor Q1 off. When Q1 is in off, the current I1 goes 0 and there is no input appear at the transistor Q1. And again, then it comes into uh, this voltage increases. This voltage VC1 increases and makes the transistor Q2 on. This process will be he reverse and it is continuously done like that okay so now i will write here now by applying a triggering pulse triggering pulse is nothing but negative going spikes Spikes are nothing but outputs of differentiator. Okay, so now by applying a triggering pulse like negative going pulse, the transistors will change the states of the transistor will change the state. Then what happens? Q1 becomes off and Q2 becomes on. Again repeat the same action repeat the same at opposite transistor side opposite transistor side okay so this is the bistable multivibrator that too in terms of fixed bias bistable multivibrator thank you